Parkham Insignia was designed from the very first moment we sat down and thought about it to be as easy to use as possible and as simple to navigate. The starting point for that has got to be the interface of the program. And you can see that Arkham Insignia has a nice, simple, straightforward interface. We have a large graphics area on the right here with which to do our design in, our layout and also create toolpaths. Up the top we have a standard Windows drop down menu with some of the shortcuts you'd expect to see. And on the left here is where we keep our icons. Now these icons can be displayed just a few at a time or I can display them all at once. The beauty of being able to display just a few at any time is I can very much focus on a particular set of tools without cluttering up my interface. On top of that, as a new user, I may not recognise all these tools or I may forget what one of them does. So if I click on this icon here, I can toggle the actual name of the tool next to the icon, which makes it very easy for me to find what I want and not make mistakes. Now that's the first level to make the software easy to use. The next level that we incorporated was to put in what we refer to as inline help. If we go into one of the tools, such as the V-Bit Carving, you can see that it has a simple menu where I can just go through and fill in the values as I want. But again, when I'm first starting with the program, or perhaps if it's the first time I've used this tool, I may not know what a certain value does, or I may want to know how it will affect the toolpath or what I'm trying to do. So this area at the top here where it says Show Help, if I was to click on that, you can see it actually brings up Help inside the menu right next to the area where I want it. So I don't have to resort to always pulling out the manual or trying to find the help on an internet page. Now that's great, being able to read the help directly where I need it, but one step further than that, and what's even better, is being able to watch somebody actually carry out this particular tool that we're looking at here. If I click on this icon in the top left hand corner, this will start a view look video. This view look video will take you through, a bit like a VCR, step by step, showing you each stage of the process that you're currently in. You can see that I've got controls in the top right hand corner to pause, fast forward and play this. And that if we actually watch the video for a second, it's just going to show me exactly how to select my data, where to find my icons, and literally go through every single part of this process. An extremely powerful tool in order to help me to get familiar with the software. So you can see that it's very important for us that we make sure it's easy for people to start with the software, to use it, but also as you'll see throughout the presentations that it's also easy for people to find their way around it and get access to the tools they need once they're an experienced user.